Yo, check, 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 one, two, one, two. Des at King of the Pit TV signing in live and large. Yo, people, I've uploaded a whole bunch of videos uh, only yesterday, uh, so I'm glad to get them up and going and on the move. Um, we're going to listen to some Merciful Fate today, okay? Um, this record is entitled Melissa. Who is Melissa? Maybe we will find out during the recording. Um, this one's for the Metalheads. I listened to Evil, like more or less at the start of this channel. I think the quality was probably pretty bad because uh, I wasn't running it like the way I should have. Um, so you were only getting it picked up via uh, my laptop speakers. But yeah, because of that, that means I am going to bypass the very first song on this record. But we're just going to jump straight in from track two and onwards. I'm looking forward to some quality riffs. I'm looking forward to some heavy metal, full stop, all right? So, uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. And my question before delving in is, Merciful Fate, are they underrated or overrated? Because as a metalhead, well, when I say as a metalhead, uh, I came into alternate to extreme music via metal. Um, thrash metal was my gateway in particular. And I don't remember people really referencing Merciful Fate all that much. You know, but I know that they did influence the greats and um, I saw King Diamond live and I was very impressed. Uh, I haven't never heard any of the music before. So without further ado, if you want to support your boy and get access to these full uh, album listens, first thing without having to wait on and on and on and on. Check the link down there. Support your boy. This one is entitled Curse of the Pharaohs. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Some video game riffage. Mm. Right, I'm not saying it's bad, but that was a little bit disjointed. Yo, you know what? I wanted them to continue on with that riff because that was a great riff. We're taking it all the way back to the start. That was a quality riff. You can't go wrong with that. Proper digging into the strings, or at least you could do with this. Yo, this is a guitarist's riff right here. Yo, uh, this is such a badass riff. I like them open chord bits. Come on. Let's have a look when this record was put out, shall we? 1983. Metal Blade Records. 83 might possibly be the best year for metal and punk music, in my opinion. I think alternate music as a whole might have peaked in 83. 82 to 83. What's it, what, what do you think? As far as a particular year, cause nineties no, late eighties debatable, two thousands. Uh, I don't think I don't think we've experienced the two thousands uh, standing the test of time so much at this point to really cast judgment on that. So yeah, I think eighty three in particular. So many good records. Uh, that high register vocal is just the classic cliche 
stereotype of like heavy metal vocal in it. The the ball grabbing. Ah! Come on. Uh, drummer's kind of grooving like a New York hardcore band at this point, like a late 80s New York hardcore tough guy band. You hear how the first bit of that guitar solo was panned? We had two guitar solos going off. Was it harmonising or was it the same solo played separately? I think we're going to introduce that second guitar back around again because it's come out right now. Oh no. Anybody know about the band Metal Church? I've never listened to them before. Cool, cool. Badass tune. We didn't revise that first riff though. Proper video game racer riff that. I love that riff. I want to go back on that. I'm hoping that we've got some riffs like that coming up. We've got Into the Coven coming up next. Track number three of seven. <laughs> <laughs> 